Any major operation will normally use a general anaesthetic. It also involves a surgical team to do the operation and an anaesthetic team to keep the patient alive during the operation. The ventilator here is breathing for him and delivering a controlled anaesthetic gas mixture. This situation is very different. What would happen here if there was an uncontrolled release of gases which caused anesthesia? Some compounds in crude and condensate give off vapors which in a confined space can act as anesthetics. This film gives some background to the danger that exists and looks at analogs hypergas, which can offer protection from those dangers. We'll also show how to respond to contamination in the diving bell. Tests on vapors above samples of crude and condensate in a confined space have shown that they have almost doubled the amount of anesthetic needed to put someone out for an operation. But in the diving bell, there will be no team or equipment to help a person survive. Without that support, breathing just half the vapors which might be there would be fatal. This is a flowchart of the things that will happen to you in such a situation. The pathway you take will depend on many things, but the end point is always the same. Death. If you reach the condition indicated by the colored boxes, it's unlikely that you'd survive. To add to the problem, even before you reach that condition, the action of the vapors on the brain will make it impossible for you to follow instructions from others or to carry out the simplest activity to rescue yourself. These divers are in a bell which has been contaminated by hydrocarbon vapors. The one on the left has been told to put on breathing apparatus. He seems fully conscious, but he's totally unable to carry out such a very familiar procedure for a diver. These men survived because a third diver arrived back at the bell, realized there was a problem and kept his helmet on. He was able to follow instructions from the surface and get the bell back to safety. Some of the vapors cause seizures at as little as 30% of the level which would cause anesthesia. It's been shown that with contamination at just 35% of the level required for surgical anesthesia, half of all individuals won't be able to respond to verbal commands. The hypergas was developed by Analox in conjunction with Unimed Scientific Limited. 